Well, for all the savage knife attacks to hit our cities over recent years, yesterday's in the capital was perhaps the most shocking and appalling so far. 87-year-old grandfather Thomas O'Halloran was stabbed in an unprovoked attack as he sat on his mobility scooter. He was a much-loved community figure, even playing the accordion outside a shop to raise money for Ukrainian refugees. A major manhunt is underway tonight for his killer, with police seeking who they have described as a dangerous knife-wielding man, seen here fleeing the scene. Now, this shocking CCTV footage, which emerged today, shows Mr O'Halloran's last moments alive as passers-by stopped to check on him. He, clearly there, was seen keeling over. He died a few minutes later. Well, for more on this crime, I'm joined by The Times' crime and security editor, Fiona Hammerson. Fiona, good evening. Uh, an absolutely shocking crime, and that footage there really ramming it home. What's the latest you're hearing so far? Yes, so that footage is obviously of the victim after he's been stabbed, members of the public coming around him to try and help, and a really shocking footage of him uh, sort of trundling on a little bit further before he is, um, he unfortunately dies at the scene. Uh, the latest is that there is a major manhunt underway, uh, lots of detectives on this, and that is quite a clear image of that suspect, so ordinarily you might expect that the Met will be inundated and, and hopefully they'll have, um, have some success soon. Uh, there's, there's reports from the scene that actually the suspect has been identified by a security guard, I must emphasise not confirmed, but who believes he's been um, picked up for shoplifting before, which, which might be a major line of inquiry. OK, interesting. So potentially as a suspect now known to police. We'll have to see how that goes. Tell me, what do we know about Thomas O'Halloran? What's come out today about him? Well, he's a much-loved community figure, well-known in the community. He, he was um, actually on his regular route, uh, we believe to be travelling home from the Tesco, where he was often uh, raising money for Ukrainian, for victims of the war in Ukraine, uh, busking down there. Um, well-known in the community, people were giving, often would give 10 or £20 notes. He would travel from that Tesco to the train station, where he would continue to um, carry on music and uh, raising money for, for, that, for that cause. Uh, he's also known to be uh, a mechanic, would help neighbours out fixing their cars, and just said to be a lovely, all-round, nice guy in character who always said hello to people and was, as was really well-liked. Now, Fiona, this comes on a backdrop of a series of really ugly incidents in the capital in London over the last few days. Six different murder investigations in the last four days alone, shooting ins and stabbings. Yes, that's right. So that takes us to 67 homicides, um, homicide inquiries launched by the Metropolitan Police. Uh, and as you say, a series of shootings. It, it should be said that actually we are down about 20% on homicides compared to this time last year. There were a record youth homicides in the capital last year, but nonetheless a concerning figure and a concerning uptick in violence in recent days. Not necessarily unusual. You often see an uptick of violence in the summer months, but certainly something that will be concerning senior officers at the Met. Okay.